Martin Vasilik has dominated proceedings so far. Can he do it again and make it three finals on the spin? 22, 23 and 24. Martin has had an OK start. He's on 27 points coming into tonight. He's going to build on that, of course. But he wants to win. He loves this place. Here we go. Semi-final number one. Tidy on the start there. I think Lambert maybe Lambert moves the first, the first one, but then disaster for Lebedev. He's gone straight in, but did Martin Vasilik touch the tapes? I don't know. There was movement from Lambert, wow. Vasilik, and certainly Lebedev as he went through the tapes, but uh, we that need man, to see it again. That man who was responsible for it all yeah. might got away with it. I think he probably has. Oh, I think it's probably just Ooh. Lebedev's, but who's, there's the movement. Oh, uh, it's what. just Lebedev's, I think. Sure. Are you sure? Yeah. Tell you what, Martin does touch them, though. <laughs> well, maybe he does. He does touch them, yeah, uh, 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 Chris. But, but what do you do with that? I mean, Robert Lambert... touches them first? Robert Lambert has started the domino effect, and then the other two have gone, but... Um, yeah, could who could touched them first? there be two exclusions here? I mean, this is drama. Drama... Massive oh. drama for Martin Vasilik, who was looking good. Movement on the inside from Robert Lambert. How's Craig Ackroyd, the referee, going to uh, well, untangle this one? Clearly movement from Robert Lambert. Yeah, there's there. the first one. But who touches the tapes first? Well, I, I would suggest Lebedev's from gate three, but it's very, very close. Oh. It's close. Oh. <laughs> We're hearing it now. And Lebedevs is out. Martin Vasilik survives. Cool. Wow. wow. How tight was that? Andre Lebedev's gutted. He's had a great night. Not the ideal way for him to end his evening. Got a feel for him there. But Robert Lambert, although Lebedev's has no argument because he wasn't looking that way. He would have been looking to the right. Of course, Lambert's not going to get away with it again, though. He's got a warning. So oh, uh, nor, Martin, is, uh, nor is Martin, Martin Vasilik. Vasilik. They've got to behave themselves now big time. Will this be uh, a handy advantage for Dominic Kubera? Second time of asking. Lambert on the inside in red. Martin Vasilik, gate number two in blue. Lebedev's is out, excluded, touched the tapes. So did Martin Vasilik, but it must have been literally a fag papered yeah. between them. Dominic Kubera off the outside. He's done Dominic Kubera a favour. He's oh, yeah. got no traffic on the inside of him now. No. Nice clean run from the outside. Could see him do the business. One there, his last heat, one from the outside. Here we go then, second time of asking. Semi-final number one, just three of them. Tapes are up. Martin Vasilik, what a start from him. Sensational bike through the first corner. Kubera around the outside of Lambert. What a move from the Polish man. He's going great guns in second place. But that man out in front, Martin Vasilik, only dropped a point coming into the semi-finals. Superb out of gate number two. Uh, Martin Vasilik launched off the start. Yeah, again, Kubera actually had to be conservative down the back straight on the first lap. Put the brakes on at the end of the straight. He generated a lot of speed, but the race settling down now. I tell you what, Lambert's the biggest loser here because he could have really moved himself uh, within a few points of Smarslik. Indeed, and inexplicably, Lambert is off the pace, having shown great pace throughout the evening. He's tailed off in third place. He's going to miss out on the final here this evening. Martin Vasilik and Kubera looking good. Less than a lap to go for these two. Kubera's looking good in second place. He's cruising. He's cruising in second place. But for Martin Vasilik, this is going to be win number five on the evening. Through to the final again. Looking for a hat-trick to win in the Marquetta Stadium. Not easy, not easy to put the history behind the last two years, coming in with a clear mind, showing great character tonight, Martin Vasilik. Brilliant ride from him. He wins semi-final number one. Kubera coming through nicely, comfortably, actually, into second place. He's in the final with him. Robert Lambert there just didn't have the setup there, didn't have the pace to challenge. Misses out, as does Andre Lebedev. A shame for him, we're touching the tapes. Martin Vasilik, I tell you what, he keeps doing this. It's going to be awfully difficult to beat, you know. Yeah, beautifully clean start. Just done everything right. He's got his chin over the handlebars. Bikes launched forward. Kept it under control. You can see there, Kubera on the opening lap. Had plenty of speed down the back straight. 
but uh, sensibly just chose to put the brakes on and ride conservatively, knowing that second place will do him. But uh, we heard from Martin Vashnik earlier in his interview with Abby Stevens, just saying that 22's wins in 22 and 23 mean absolutely nothing. He's not looking back at them. He's just got a job to do tonight. And boy, is he doing it. Well, he's uh, about to join potentially history-making riders like Ty Wolfenden, Jason Crump, and Nicky Pedersen that have all won here previously three times. Only two of them have made it a hat-trick of wins. That's Pedersen, no, excuse me, that's Crump. And of course, Ty Woofenden. Can he do it? We'll have to wait and see. We've got semi final number two to worry about first. And the track's really good now. Max Fritz had a fabulous night. He's on the inside. Artos Marslik's there. Rafael Dobrocki, of course, the Polish team manager. Keenly looking on. He's got one Polish boy through into the final. Can it be two? With uh, Artos Marslik, you would suggest it will be. He's been. Rock solid tonight, Smart. He's only really dropped points when he came out of gate number three, yeah. and it was heavily watered then. Good to see Lingram back uh, to good form tonight. Semi final number two, the lineup for you Max Frick off the inside in red, Bartosz Smarsley, gate number two in blue, Mikkel Mickelson, gate number three in white, and Freddie Lingram off the outside in yellow. This is a tough race. Interesting semi-final, this one. You've got Freddie Lindgren, who, who just needs a big round. He's rode himself into the uh, semi-finals with two race wins. Mickelson moved up five places with his win in Lancer. He's going to want to keep that momentum going. Absolutely right. And, uh, you know, when you've had such a big result after a long time away, not easy then to back it up. But all credit to him. He's here, fighting, hanging tough. Can he make the final from gate number three? Going to be awfully tough. When you consider the form of Frick and Smarslik, Smarslik has already won two races from gate two. So he's got fond memories of that part of the track. Look at the crowd in the background. Absolutely nobody's left here. Fantastic atmosphere. The weather has finally behaved. And we've got a proper Grand Prix on here. Here we go, the Marquette are packed to the rafters. Here we go, second semi-final. Tapes up. We're away. Look at that from Smarty. That bike's just dug in. Claps controlled. Absolutely sensational. Well, he hits the front. Lingren roaring around the outside. Now Mickelson comes underneath Frick. Frick has been relegated to the back, and that's a surprise. But Smarslick and Lingren, one and two from last year's World Championship, going for the final in the Marquette's up. Fantastic stuff from Smarslick, but Freddie Lingren's quicker. We've said it for the last couple of rounds. Smarslick, when he's in front, is not as quick as we perhaps we've seen him in the past. But but uh, Linger and difficult job in these semi-finals. If you're in second place, you've got to be a bit conservative and make sure you don't go backwards, but he's certainly carrying plenty of speed. Indeed he is. Smarts like having to work hard there to resist the charge of Freddie Lingren. Lingren just seemed to have more speed. You're right. Closing in once again. We're into the last lap. Mickelson trying awfully hard in third place. Smarts like now, will he come under pressure on this last lap? Tell you what, Schmalzik not completely comfortable out in front after a sensational start. But he's in the final. He wins semi-final number two. Lindgren back to form. He makes another final here in the Marquetta. Cole's delighted. They've got two riders in the final. And uh, disappointment for Max Frick there. I thought he looked like a finalist on his performances so far this evening. Just a shame, but on his return to Grand Prix, Still very impressive nonetheless. Smarslik and Lingren through to the final. Mickelson and Frick missing out. But still nonetheless, solid performances from both of them. Looking forward to Sweden in two weeks' time. But right now, it's all about Smarslik out of gate number two. Yeah, Martin Vashnik and Smarslik both chose gate two straight away. And we can see why. Both making immaculate starts from there. But look at the speed. Freddie Lingren's got, again, another rider that has to put the brakes on down the back straight on the opening lap. He's just got so much more speed than the guy leading the race there, Smarslik. But uh, I think Lingren was caught in two minds all race. I think that this would have been early on in the heats. He may have been a little bit more of an attacking mode there on Smarslik, but uh, <laughs> certainly he'd be pleased with that one. He's seen the, uh, the speed is there for him, but it's a typical Freddie Lindgren battling performance. He finishes last in his opening race, gets a couple of seconds, four points after three rides, and then finishes with two race wins. What a yep. performance. Terrific stuff. Classic Lindgren. Martos Smarslik through to his fourth final out of four. That's what it's all about when he won to win the World Championship. 
We'll look at the points handed out for the guys that missed out in the semi-finals.